Hello everyone, Denny Sunderly here at Disney's Old Key West Resort. And if you've been watching the videos, no, I'm not living here permanently now. <laughs> We've just had an afternoon filled with creating Disney snack recipes here in the comfort of a Disney Vacation Club villa. And just in case you are maybe wanting to do the same at some point, we wanted to show you exactly what it would be like to do so. But before I get started, just to let you know, this is a collaboration effort between the Diz, WDWinfo.com, and DVC Fan. So over on the Diz side of things, we are sponsored by Dreams Unlimited Travel. Let the expert agents at Dreams Unlimited Travel help you plan your next Disney vacation. You can request your free no obligation quote at DreamsUnlimitedTravel.com. On the DVC fan side of things, we are sponsored by World of DVC. If you're interested in anything having to do with Disney Vacation Club, from renting points to getting a new resale contract to financing contracts, check out the experts at worldofdvc.com and they can help you out with that process. In case you don't know what Saturday Snacks is, it is a weekly article series that I begun last February 2020. It was going to be simple. I was going to go eat cupcakes and other snacks on Walt Disney World property and tell everybody at home what I thought of them. And then the parks closed and there were no more Disney snacks. And so I started making the Disney snacks in the comfort of my very own kitchen and sharing the experience, good, bad, and otherwise, with everybody at home. And it's been so much fun. And we have um, had a lot of adventures uh, low these many weeks. And Pete thought it would be a lot of fun to bring Saturday snacks into the environment of a Disney Vacation Club villa and see what it was like to create some of those snacks here. Now, I have brought two things from home because if you're planning on doing a lot of cooking in a DVC uh, villa, you might bring some of your favorite things from home whatever you can fit in your suitcase. I brought my measuring spoons and I brought my measuring cups. And I'm so glad I did because internally I was freaking out a little bit when I started these recipes this afternoon because I'm not in my own kitchen and I don't have all my stuff. But those two things really helped me out. Today's snack is the uh, marshmallow peppermint wands from Marceline's Confectionery in Disneyland. If you've ever been to Disneyland and you've stopped through the downtown Disney district at Marceline's, you know the snack magic that they create. They are geniuses over there and it's so much fun to watch them do what they do. Now what we do here at, at home or in a DVC villa is a little bit different. We don't have all the wonderful things, tools, the tricks of the trade that they do there, but we can channel a little bit of it at the same time. Today's recipe is super simple. You need a bag of melting chocolate, which you can find in any store. All these things you can find in the grocery store. You need uh, two cans of hot caramel. There's a difference between hot caramel and regular caramel. You want the hot caramel for today. You need eight um, long lollipop sticks. You also need big and fluffy marshmallows, 24 of them. And you need 15 candy canes or the equivalent in uh, the little peppermint candies. I keep peppermint candies at the ready. So <laughs> I just grabbed my peppermint candies and brought them with me. What you need to do is you need to crush those peppermint candies or those candy canes my uh, method of choice is double sealing them in plastic baggies and smashing them with a hammer. Not a hammer, I like to channel Yzma there. Just the back end of a, um, of a butter knife. So just go to town, get your frustration out and crush those peppermints. You also want to put the hot caramel, both jars, into a medium saucepan and over medium heat, warm it up that's gonna um, cause it to be just a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more fluid for you to be able to coat those marshmallow wands because your next step is to take those eight lollipop sticks, you dip the one end in uh, water and you skewer onto each stick three of those big and fluffy marshmallows. Once you've got that going and your caramel is ready, you can twirl, you dip and just twirl, just channel those cast members that you have seen at Walt Disney World and at Disneyland um, in the confectionery and at Marceline's confectionery. 
just channel them and just swirl and coat each of those wands in that hot caramel. Now here's, here's something you absolutely must do. You've got to knock some of that excess caramel off before you set it on a, a, on a layer of parchment paper to set for 30 minutes. If you don't do that, it's going to just be gloppy from the word go and you're going to end up with tears, tears and lots of hot caramel. And it's just not fun. We don't want any tears today. So make sure to gently knock those off, lay all those caramel covered marshmallow wands on a uh, parchment paper, give them 30 minutes in timeout, come back when that 30 minutes is up, you melt your chocolate over medium heat, and then you double, see it's, we're double dipping here. You're gonna take those hot caramel wands, you're gonna twirl them through the chocolate again, and then you're gonna give them 15 minutes to set up. You also have, actually, you're gonna take them from the chocolate and then put them, roll them in the peppermint, the crushed peppermints, which you have put in a shallow bowl. Then you give them 15 minutes to sit there and uh, hopefully become what you want them to be. What you want them to be is yummy and delicious and super sweet with double layers of chocolate and caramel all enrobed in crushed peppermint candy. It is so good. It tastes like the holidays and, it, and you are making an iconic Disney treat right in your own home. It doesn't get much better than that. The one thing I will say is that when I go, and I've, I've done this before because I've also done M&M covered marshmallow wands. I've done the churro toffee marshmallow ones from Marceline as well. After about four marshmallow wands, that, ex, that coating, whatever you're putting on the outside, whether it is um, cinnamon sugar mixture or mini M&Ms, it gets a little gloppy. So if you've got a fresh batch of, of uh, peppermint that you can sub in, do that or do as I've done, stop at four. If you don't need more than four, <laughs> although I could eat more than four, if you don't need more than four, you can stop right there and call it quits. This is so good. Anything marshmallow wand is something I enjoy immensely and immediately I just feel like a kid again. So if you decide to try this recipe, please, 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 by all means, let me know what you thought. The recipe can be found, um, it'll be in my article where I talk a little bit more, I give more details about the whole process, what it was like, what I thought, um, that'll all be in the article. The original recipe came from Disney Parks blog. So the official blog of, of the Disney company will put out recipes from time to time. And I have poured over all of their recipes from all over the years. And this was done um, just last year. So, so much fun and so glad they released this. So if you would like to try a little taste of the holidays in your very own home, have at it, enjoy it. Let me know what you think if you decide to try the recipe uh, below. Many, many thanks to Corey Fiascanaro, who has been amazing producer for, uh, for these videos and these recipes. So thank you, Fiasco. Well, many thanks to the chef who's been cooking me lots of things to eat. So Yay! thank you. My pleasure, my pleasure. If you, um, again, we're sponsored. If you need uh, help planning a trip to Walt Disney World, let the agents at Dreams Unlimited Travel help you out at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. If you are interested in Disney Vacation Club, and who wouldn't be, um, just go ahead and, and check out worldofdvc.com and let the experts over there help you out. And as always, if you would like to be a part of the Saturday Snacks community over on the Diz, I would love to have you. It would be my honor if you would come by and hang out. It's so much fun getting to talk to readers and getting to interact with readers. So please stop by every Saturday morning, a new recipe, a new adventure releases, goes up on the disc. So www.info.com, check it out and we'll have fun together as we usher a little Disney magic into the comfort of our very own kitchens. Take good care, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching. And thank you to Pete for cooking up this whole idea about creating Disney magic in a DVC villa. Take good care. Bye.